Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Bram and welcome to another further SDK tutorial. Now today we'll be talking about tab bar views, step views, whatever you want to call them. Um, but they're basically like used in every single big app like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. So let's take a look at the example app because I'm very, very excited to show this to you guys. So um, I've got my example app and got some tabs at the top and at the bottom and I can tap uh, this tab and that will take me to another page. I can tap at this tab and that will take me to another page, etc. And these two tabs are linked to the same controller. So notice how both of them change when I press one of them. And this is basically just our I love pizza app. And notice how I can also swipe instead of just tap the tabs. Awesome, so without further ado, let's just jump into the tutorial. So I've already created my project and in my library folder, I will be creating a new file. So let's um, call this first page and this will be representing our first page. Let's also create a, you guessed it, second page or our second page and of course our third page. Awesome. So like you can see, um, all three of those pages look very similar. So I'm just going to create one and copy paste to go over um, for time's sake. So let's import our Flutter material package. And let's say class and let's call this first. Let's just call this first and this will be extending our stateful state loss widget yeah let's um override our build methods override widget build um build context context by the way guys if you guys for hear some zooming sound um it's like there's like a heat wave here in belgium um it's really hot my computer is like spinning up crazy so i'm really sorry if you guys notice it but okay, let's um, go farther with the go. So let's return a new container. And this new container um, will have a child, which is going to be a new center. And this center will also have a child, which is going to be our icon. So let's create an icon, an accessibility icon. Let's say size something like 150. And color, let's make this colors dot brown. Awesome. So um, that was fairly easy. Let's just copy paste this in our second page of darts, in our third page of darts, and let's um, change the icon to the pizza icon for the second page, and let's or actually let's make this the favorite icon, and let's make this a red accent color. And for the third page, let's say the pizza icon and let's make this a teal color. Awesome. So um, now that is done, we can start working on our tab view. So first of all, import our new pages. So import, and this will be first page dot dart. Let's also import our second page, second page dot dart. And let's also import our um, third page dot dart. And let's actually import them as first, as second, oops, and oops, second, and as third. Awesome. So let's now create our tab view or the screen in the widget in which we will be displaying our tabs and our tab view. So let's create a new class and the class will be mm, called my tab, my tabs, something like that, and make it extend the stateful widget class. Now let's write down our boilerplate for our stateful widget. Um, so my tabs state create state and let's say new my tabs state awesome 
let's now create our actual state. So class my depth state will be extending state um, of my tabs. And we also have to do with single picker provider state mixing. What a name I know. And we basically need this um, because we will be um, navigating with an animation. Um, so that's why we need this. Don't worry too much about it. So let's write down our boilerplate again. So override widget builds, build context. Okay, context. And let's return a new scaffold. Awesome. Um, now let's also make a, or actually let's just go ahead and run this already. So let's say your material app home, the home property will have a new my tabs widgets. Now let's run this. Awesome, so everything is showing up as expected. So let's now start up and create our app bar in our scaffold. Um, so let's say app bar, which will be a new app bar with a title of, let's say, um, pages or something. And then let's give this a background color of deep orange. Awesome. So um, this is basically what we've been doing for the past few tutorials. So, um, but app bar actually has not another property. So let's actually um, indent this a little more clearly. And let's add another property to our app bar, which is going to be bottom. Um, now bottom takes a widget. So let's create a new tab bar. And tab bar has a property called tabs, which takes a um, an array of tabs. So once again, we've got another bottom property in our app bar, which um, we can provide with a tab bar, um, which has some tabs of type tab, of course. And in here, we can create some tabs. So let's say tab icon. And let's say new icon um, icons dot arrow. Let's say arrow forward. Awesome. So um, we've got three pages. So let's just copy and paste this three more times. Uh, down, downwards. Oops. Arrow downwards and let's say arrow back awesome let's refresh our app whoops oh okay so we are getting an error right now and the error is basically saying that there is no explicit controller nor a default controller so what a controller is it's it's basically controlling um, the tab view so let's create a new controller so tab, let's call what is it called? Tab controller. And let's call this controller. Now I'll be writing down some boilerplate. Don't worry too much about this. Cool. So um, I went ahead and typed out all of this. So um, we've got our controller. And we need to make a new controller, a new instance of it. And it will have facing. Don't worry too much about this. And this you should worry about. This is the amount of tabs you will have. So the amount of views. We've got three. So one, two, three. So be sure that those things match. And we also need to override the dispose. Um, once again, don't worry too much about it. It's basically just some boilerplate. Let's now um, assign our controller to our tab bar. So let's say controller, controller. And let's refresh. And that's giving us a pretty awesome view already. Whoops. Awesome. So um, now we are presented with some tabs, but of course they're not doing anything quite yet. So um, let's go ahead and create. Oops. 
let's go ahead and create a body in our scaffold of course and this body is going to have a new step bar view Oops. and the step bar view is going to have a controller which is going to be the same controller and we also we will also have some children which will be of type widgets and these children will basically um, be the tabs or the pages we want to assign to our tabs. So the first widget is going to be for our first tab. So let's say new, and we import this as first. So new first dot first. Now let's create our second tab or tab or our second page. New second dot second for how did we call this? Oops, let's actually rename this to seconds. And let's actually rename our third page to third. Cool. So new seconds dot seconds. And our last page is going to be called new third dot third. Awesome. So um we should be good. We should be good to go right now. So let's review that one more time. We created a new tab bar view. And in the new tab bar view, we assign the controller to the controller property. And we have a we have some children which are going to be representing our pages. Um, and we've got three because we got three tabs. So this first page will be for this tab, the second page will be for the second tab, and the third for be for the third. Uh, now make sure that you do not have any more tabs than you have pages, or make sure that you don't have any more pages. And tabs because um, you will be thrown um, the you know you will get some warnings so be sure to um, make sure that those things add up let's refresh and now we are seeing our tab, um, our page and we can slide over to the second page and third page awesome so let's now take a look how we could add this tab bar to the bottom of our screen so in scaffolds, we actually have a, another property called bottom navigation bar. And let's make this bottom navigation bar a new tab bar, or actually a new um, material. Oops. And this new material is going to have a new tab bar. And that new tab bar, oops, it's going to have a child. Which is going to have a new tab, which is going to be a new tab bar, and that child, that new tab bar, is basically just going to be um, the same as this one. So let's copy paste that, and boop, 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 boop. let's give this material color. So let's say color um, colors dot deep orange. Let's refresh. And now we are seeing our cool little tab bar at the bottom as well. Awesome, so let's review that last part one more time. We created a new material because the tab bar does not have a property for setting the backgrounds and material does. So we created a new material. We set the background color to orange and we added a new child, which is tab bar. And that tab bar is basically the same as our previous tab bar. Awesome. So um, this will be the tutorial for today. Um, I will post a link to the GitHub repo in the, in the description down below. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for the lack of videos lately, but I've been extremely busy. Um, but I really hope you know you guys can you know just move along and wait a little longer for future tutorials. So I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.